What's up guys, my name is Fran and welcome back. In today's personal computing trends, the industry keeps leaning towards the more portable and low profile form factor. This trend has even leaked over into the enthusiast grade market when you look at the growing popularity of ITX builds. However, what we're gaining in portability and form factor, we are actually losing in expandability. Take my Intel Skull Canyon Nook, for example. It offers a ton of computing power, but is lacking heavily in the graphics department. Now, there are a few devices on the market that can help me remedy this issue. This is the Akitio Thunder 3. The Akitio Thunder 3 is an external PCI Express expansion box. Paired with the powerful PCI Express GPU, the Akitio Thunder 3 will essentially allow me to upgrade the graphics power of my Intel Skull Canyon Nook. So according to Akitio's website, the Thunder 3 officially does not support external graphics cards. Now under further investigation, the reasoning behind Akitio's disclaimer that it does not support graphics cards is primarily based around the fact that it does not offer enough power. There are no eight pin or six pin power connectors built inside of the Akito Thunder 3. Now, of course, this could be remedied by adding an external power supply. However, that just wouldn't look too pretty. So when considering graphics cards to use with this expansion box, I naturally went with the 1050 Ti. The NVIDIA 1050 Ti offers you great performance without needing any extra power that's not provided by the PCI Express slot. Setup was fairly plug and play. You simply can remove the two thumb screws and then remove the outer housing and then you can simply drop your card in. Now there was one modification that I did make to this case that I felt was necessary. By default, there's a fan in the front of the Akitio Thunder 3 that actually pulls ambient air into the case to cool off the card. So because this is not a blower style graphics card where it'll push the hot air outside of the case, I decided to actually flip the little fan that sits in the front of the Akitio Thunder 3 to allow it to create static pressure and grab cool air from the cracks and then push the hot air out. So one reservation I did have when considering this setup was the performance going through an external GPU. I'm glad to report that there is absolutely no difference between using the 1050 Ti in a regular test bench versus putting it inside of the Akiti of Thunder 3. I was able to run AAA titles such as Watch Dogs 2, Shadow of Mordor, and Rise of the Tomb Raider all at medium settings above 60 frames per second, and more esports oriented games such as Heroes of the Storm or Overwatch at ultra settings above 80 frames per second. So now that we know it works, I consider the Akitio Thunder 3 to be a great alternative to the Razer Core at a fraction of the cost. At the time of recording this video, the Razer Core retails for about $499, while the Akitio Thunder 3 actually starts at about $299. However, I was able to take my time and do some shopping around the internet, and I was able to pick this unit up for about $189. That's less than half the cost of the current going Razer Core. Okay, so my experiment is over and we know it works, but who the hell is this setup for? I feel like this setup can actually be really useful for a number of scenarios. Okay, so one scenario is you are a heavy laptop user, but you still like to play PC games. Or maybe you even picked up the 2016 MacBook Pro that doesn't have the Radeon graphics in it, and you are looking for a little bit more power to play a couple PC games. Another scenario is this can be great for LAN parties. Once you break this down, it becomes a very small and convenient setup where you can stick in any travel bag. Now finally, the reason why I picked this thing up. Paired with an external Elgato capture card, an Intel Skull Canyon Nook, and the Akitio Thunderbolt 3, this can actually turn into the ultimate Twitch streaming rig. The form factor and size makes it nice and convenient so it can sit next to your monitor on your desk or next to your larger gaming rig or game console. Anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you had any more questions about the Akitio Thunder 3 or anything at all, do me a favor, leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Once again, my name is Fran. Thank you for checking out this video and hopefully I see you guys in the next one.